guys? What's up? Josh Fairstein here. You know, I think in the age of political correctness, we become so open-minded, our brains have literally fallen out of our head. Josh, may maybe your brain has literally fallen out of your fat fucking head, but for the rest of us with a brain, we understand that literally, your brain doesn't literally fall out when you become too open-minded, okay? I mean, people can get too politically correct, sure, but I wouldn't call a private business making their coffee cups red to like over being overly politically correct and a sp this is a terrible example of like too much political correctness like a private company has a red holiday cup oh find a real issue to bitch about do you realize that starbucks wanted to take christ and christmas off of their brand new cups that's why they're just plain red that is false uh starbucks never had christ or Christmas on their coffee cups. They used to have like Christmas ornaments, like what you would hang on that pagan fucking symbol of a Christmas tree that you guys like to claim is Christian all of a sudden. Uh, and they and they had like snowflakes or reindeer and shit like that. That's, I mean, they're still using Christmas colors, right? And but they're not using enough Christmassy type shit. And he's now pretending like they used to have. A picture of fucking Jesus up on the cross on the side of every goddamn coffee cup. Get the fuck out of here. In fact, do you realize that Starbucks isn't allowed to say Merry Christmas to customers? That is also false. They're just not forced to say Merry Christmas to customers. If a, if a customer says Merry Christmas to you, you have every right to say Merry Christmas right back to them. There's no, like, company policy that says you must say Happy Holidays or something. You you are taking this so fucking far, it's kind of proving how pointless it is, really. Like, when you have to be this nitpicky over every little thing to prove your war on Christmas, you, it comes out looking like you're just looking for a fight. And, and you're going to get one. People are going to react. I've seen videos of people having them write, Hail Satan, on the cup. Just, just to have a, a go at you, because you're such a... a fragile little you know in this age of politically correct shit that he's talking about look at the shit he's bitching about he's who the fuck else out there that is not overly politically correct is bitching about starbucks coffee cups well i decided instead of simply boycotting well why don't we just start a movement so when i went in and i asked for my coffee they asked for my name and i told them my name is merry christmas so guess what starbucks i tricked you into putting Merry Christmas on your cup. And I'm challenging all great Americans and Christians around this great nation, go into Starbucks and take your own coffee selfie. And then I challenge you to not only share this video so that the word gets out, but let's start a movement. And let's call it, I don't know, hashtag Merry Christmas Starbucks. And I know that by sharing this video and getting other Christians to do it, well, I guarantee that we can make this go around the world. You, you, you didn't trick anybody, you moron. You fucking idiot. Nobody was tricked. You came in and gave them business. And then when they need someone, something to say to let you know your coffee is ready, they don't care what the hell you write on the cup. You think you're being cute with this whole, ooh, Merry Christmas. Oh, this is so cute. <laughs> I tricked you, you fucking idiot. And, and of course he wouldn't boycott them because this fat fucker needs his like double choke a latte every fucking like three hours. So of course he can't boycott them. So we, uh, instead he's going to give them business and ask other people to give them business to prove a point to start a movement. You still got to go there and buy the coffee to have them write it on there, you dumbass. You're not doing anything but giving them more business. You fat-headed fucking retard. And Starbucks, guess what? Just to offend you, I made sure to wear my Jesus Christ shirt into your store, and since you hate the Second Amendment, I even carried my gun. Yikes. You know why you can wear your Jesus shirt in Starbucks? Because they're not as uptight a motherfucker as you are. They don't care. They're not trying to piss people off, though. You are. And you you being such a complete fucking moron, it terrifies me that you carry around a fucking firearm at all goddamn times. You're going to you're gonna be the dumb, fat dipshit that accidentally, like, reaches in, in his pocket for a Snickers bar and shoots himself in the leg or someone else. You're, you're completely fucking idiotic. Uh, you are being 
more sensitive than the politically correct crowd that you're trying to call out, and it's really fucking pathetic. Uh, I don't even drink Starbucks, and I hate the fucking holidays. I'm an atheist, and I still say Merry Christmas to people. <laughs> you know why? Because Christianity doesn't own this shit. Get the fuck out of here. Until next time, Coctopus out. Anyways, guys, please take a moment. Choose to not be politically correct. Just correct. Share the video, like, comment below. I want to know your thoughts. God bless. Have a really, really beautiful day. Hey, guys. Wanted to once again show off my copy of The Game Changer, a collection of poetry by Peter Howe. Uh, do yourself a favor. Check out the links in the description and treat yourself to more of poetry like this. Some things are seen as wise because they're unexplored. Too little time spent thinking, even though it's time they can afford. What's his famous principle, the razor with which many have run? The simplest explanation is usually the correct one. That's from Occam the Naive. And uh, you can get yourself tons of awesome poetry like that in this book. Do check it out. Links in the description.